Hello guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, you'll be happy to know this one's not on programming. This one's all about how to set up your Microsoft Outlook email browser to receive your Gmail email. Um, so instead of having to go off the Gmail website or go to your Android phone and run the uh, dedicated Gmail app, you can actually add the Gmail account to your Microsoft Outlook um, email uh, viewer okay so the way you do it is you go to file this is actually in Microsoft Outlook 2010 um, go to file add account okay under email accounts type in your uh, name then type in your email address okay and under password, type in your Gmail password. Okay, so that's your name, your email address, which is the Gmail email address, and then you type in your Gmail password. Then at the bottom here, you manually configure server settings or additional server types, so make sure you select that. Okay, and then click Next. All right, now under the Choose Server dialog box, you've got Internet Email Options, Exchange, Text Messaging, or other. Make sure you select Internet Email for POP or IMAP server. Click Next, all right, and under this section, if it's not already pre-configured, then add your name and your Google email address, again, to the user information. Okay, under the Server section, you select your account type, so we're going to be doing POP3. Um, but if you're not POP3 in your IMAP, then you do exactly the same as the POP3. Uh, the only difference being um, some of the port addresses uh, are slightly different, uh, which I'll cover in a minute. And um, the actual uh, server uh, IP addresses, them, addresses themselves are slightly different. Okay, So instead of prefixing with POP and SMTP, you would prefix them with IMAP and SMTP. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute. So incoming mail server we will type pop.gmail.com okay and then outgoing mail SMTP now you can either use your own outgoing mail server or you can use the Gmail one I suggest you use the uh, Gmail one um, so smtp.gmail.com Okay, down under your username, you type in your uh, username at gmail.com and then you type in your password again. Okay, select from a password, otherwise every time you do a send receive mail, uh, it'll prompt you for your username. Okay, now you need to go a little bit further here. You need to uh, select more settings. Okay, and then under the more settings, go to outgoing server, select my outgoing server, SMTP requires authentication. Okay, and then under advance, uh, inc under incoming POP3, you type in 995. Okay, and then select this server requires an encrypted connection SSL. And then go just below that, outgoing SMTP server, type in the port 465. Okay, and then use the following type of encrypted uh, encrypted connection SSL, and that's it. Click OK. Right now, you can click Test Account Settings. Fingers crossed, you log on to the POP3 and it failed. Okay, so we'll check that in a minute. Log into Incoming Mail Server POP3. Cannot find the email server. Very far. This. Okay, so we've got something wrong here somewhere. POP. Uh, this should say pop.gmail. Ah, there you go. Gmail.com. Let's try that. Test account settings. There you go. Success. Okay, so it's logged onto the POP3 server and it's sent a test email message. Okay, so close that. We'll click next. Okay, it's just checking your <coughs> account settings now. Testing your account settings. Okay, it's done. Close. Finish. That's it. So now what you'll see in your email list here, you've got um, the um, <coughs> the newly added uh, Gmail account that you've just added. Okay, so you can um, 
select it and then you can go send receive all and you'll see that the uh, Gmail account gets updated with your Gmail okay okay going back to the IMAP settings I was talking about earlier on um, the IMAP Gmail uh, server name is imap.gmail.com SMTP is the same as it was for pop which is smtp.gmail.com um, again you need to select here more settings um, and then under uh, outgoing server make sure you select my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication um, and then under advanced uh, you're going to need to type in 993 for your um, IMAP port and uh, the SMTP port is uh, 587 um, and then make sure you select SSL for IMAP and TLS for your SMTP that's it okay once you've done that, you've got the correct name and email addresses in. Uh, click test account settings to make sure it works. Click next, um, and then you'll find uh, again you've got um, that uh, email account added to your Outlook. Okay, and that's it. Simple. Okay, good luck. Any problems? Drop us a message, and uh, I'll see what I can do to help. Okay, take care. Bye.